too. Virginia Organizing chapter. Now, Virginia Organizing was founded 17 years ago on the idea that a democracy only works best when all the people are engaged in the civic lives of their community. When everyone has the chance and the opportunity and the ability to take part in the decisions that affect them. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now, one of the most important and basic ways for us to do this, obviously, is to exercise our right to vote. And for every person to be able to exercise their right to vote. And it's, it's important to remember that this isn't a right that has come easy. Most of these people in this country have had to work and struggle and sacrifice for their right to vote. Now, the voter suppression bill is being considered right now in the Virginia General Assembly threaten those very rights for a lot of people, for a lot of Virginians. These bills will disproportionately affect those whose voices are already often excluded. These include seniors, minorities, young adults, and low-income Virginians. Ironically, these are a lot of the same people who in the past have had to struggle and work and fight to simply have the right to vote in the first place. We don't want to see that taken away that easily just through legislation. Now, it's not an accident these bills are coming up with an important election approaching. And now with people all over the state, all over the country, unemployed and struggling, we really think our elected officials should worry less about their job security, a lot more about ours. That means treating voting as the fundamental American right that it is. We have never once solved anything by restricting democracy. We're not going to solve anything right now through that. We are not going to make any progress by making it harder for people to vote. You know, let's say we even say, okay, whatever. We want to make it harder for people to vote. We want less people voting. What's that going to do? That's going to cost millions of dollars. These bills are hugely expensive. If all of them pass and Governor McDonald signs them into law, that's going to mean millions of tax dollars and free ID costs, millions of tax dollars for administrative costs, and millions of tax dollars for a massive voter education campaign. Boo. Boo. <laughs> now, our legislators have a choice to make. They can either choose to pass these voter suppression bills and send a very clear message to Virginians that while the state says it doesn't have enough money to fund essential programs like education, our health services, our social safety net, they're willing to spend millions of dollars to make it harder to vote. And we don't want them to make that choice. We don't want them to make a choice and spend millions of dollars to fix a problem that does not exist. Now, something interesting happened uh, a few years ago. Uh, the Bush Justice Department conducted an intensive five-year investigation on voter fraud. You know how many cases they turned up through the millions that they looked through, millions of votes? 86. 86 out of millions. Most of those 86 cases couldn't have even been solved through implementing photo ID laws. And also, if there's such rampant voter fraud, there's too many people voting who shouldn't, why is it that past, this past November, over three million registered voters who could have voted stayed home. Now, instead of making it more difficult for Virginians to vote, our elected officials need to figure out how to get those people to the polls. If only 28% of people are participating in elections, that is not a real democracy. That is not a system where the majority of Virginians' voices are reflected in their government. And for some reason, our lawmakers are all right with making that worse. Now, our, our newly elected Senator Reeves sits on the Senate Privileges and Elections Committee, which has considerable influence on voting-related legislation. On Tuesday, he voted for SB1, one of the many voter suppression laws being considered right now. After winning the election in November by a remarkably slim margin, you would think that Senator Reeves would understand the importance of preserving every person's vote. Had the 86 people who put Senator Reeves in office had to go through the laws he now supports, he would not be in, Rich in Richmond right now. So. Now it's time to speak up. We can either say to our elected officials, it's fine, make it harder to vote, we don't really want a real democracy, or we can stand up and say we want a government that reflects the majority of Virginians. We want every Virginian to be able to have a say in the decisions that affect their lives. So call your delegate, call your senator, call your governor, tell them to stand up for real democracy, tell them not to make it harder for Virginians to vote. Thank you. Woo!